Hey guys, I'm Cy Silva. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. Stick around and make sure you subscribe because I promise you I am a vibe. I am a fashion luxury content creator and I do a lot of hot mess, never perfect vlogs. And speaking of which, Today we are going to hang out in my closet. I'm going to show you a few new luxury items that I've gotten and I think we should organize my jewelry because the jewelry is so bad. Do not judge me. It is a hot mess. So let's step into my closet. I'm going to show you guys around. Uh, everything is looking a little like a luxury junkyard sale. I'm running out of space around here. I'm going to show you some new handbags. Uh, this is my sunglass wall that somehow got mixed up. So I usually only put the sunglasses that I wear most often on these. And these racks are actually nail polish racks. So um, I bought them on Amazon. They're made for nail polish. I ended up using them as a sunglass holder. I have tons of sneakers and things that just need to be organized. In the last couple of months, these are all brand new bags and shoes. But dun 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 dun. Here is what is happening with the jewelry. It's between all the travel and everything else, the jewelry drawer is getting worse and worse. Like these are all boxes of jewelry back here. These are sunglasses and I still have not properly organized after fashion month. That was crazy. And then how many times did we go to Miami? I think we've been to Miami four times already since we've been back. So this stuff is starting to get overwhelming. Let's just sit down and hang out, keep it an ussy thing and let's organize just a bit. So we got some stuff. There's some things that I ordered that I need to return actually and I forgot. I got a couple of gifts, but first things first, I don't know what I've shown you already and what I have not, but I got a new pair of shoes. These were uh, cobalt blue. They're from Aquazora and I got them from net porte These shoes feel like clouds, literally like pillow clouds. The leather is so soft. And I think the heel height is really nice. And I think these will look beautiful in the spring. You can pair them obviously with a pair of loose fitted shorts, maybe some um, Bermuda shorts, or you can wear them now and then just layer it up with a trench coat or some sort of skirt, dress, even jeans. You cannot go wrong with them. And again, they are very soft and comfortable. Let me tell you a quick story. When I got these, I had to go to an event. And the shoes that they sent me for the event were just not my vibe and I needed something that was a little bit higher or else I would appear a lot shorter because I am petite. I'm only 5'4". However, I like to carry myself as if I'm 5'10", hence why I'm always wearing like platform heels or something. Anyways, I go to Soho to go buy El Cheapo's, right? I was kind of like looking almost for a platform shoe, maybe from like a shoots or something like that. Um, but I couldn't find it. Somehow stumbled in Versace and ended up <laughs> with this. Now, you know, we just bought a house. I am trying my best not to like overly splurge on clothing items. So that's why I went to shoots and I was like, you know what? I'm going to put myself in a bougie. I don't like bougies and ended up in Versace and I got these gold on gold shoes that looked so amazing that night. And we all know I have ugly feet. These cover like the two corns that I have. <laughs> and I'm like, these are a vibe. I really, really love these. And I love the gold around the ankle, which I think is really nice. Okay, next on our list, I think I showed you guys these already when we did like the five shoes that were new and it was these Saint Laurent shoes that kind of look like I'm on house arrest with this flower. It's funny because there's one flower on one ankle, but not on the other, but they're just very basic um, sandals that you can wear all the time. The heel is a little bit lower. I have to admit they are a bit uncomfortable around this area. I wish they were a little bit more padded maybe, but they are not unfortunately, but you know what? We're gonna bypass this because I did show them to you already. Got these new sunnies. These are by Lanvin. Love the detail on the side. And I really like just the shape of them overall. As you can see, I, I actually show a lot of things on Instagram. So if you are new here, please follow me on Instagram. Also follow me on the Tic Tac. I love to say the Tic Tac. These are the Lanvin sunglasses that I am loving. And then I got a pair of similar sunglasses because I have a problem. Once I get one, I cannot stop buying the same pair of sunglasses. So then I got these and then I got Valentino's. And I like these when you just like kind of put them on the nose and you're like, 
Yes, right? All right, I'm gonna put these on my sunglass rack because these are something that I reach for regularly. New bag. I got this new Dior Vibe bag. This is a medium. I did not get the small. I feel like I have so many small bags and I thought that the, the medium, I would carry it more. And sure enough, I have been carrying this nonstop since I got it and I got it a few weeks ago. Um, I carry it on the plane. This also comes, you can detach it. So it detaches around this area and then it has the logo on it. I feel like I wear Dior quite often. I really love the brand. I like the design of it. I like the fact that it has the Dior at the bottom and then there's a top handle. So you can wear this crossbody if you want. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can just kind of carry it by the, um, the handle. It does carry a lot. Like I have all kinds of, there's all kinds of stuff in here. That's the only thing about when you have a larger bag, you tend to put all kinds of things in it that you really just don't need to be carrying. Um, I have th like, there's three lip glosses in here, like a phone charger, a gift card, all kinds of things that I really just don't need. So I bought these the other day. I bought them, they didn't have the size in the store. So they said that they were gonna get them from the other store, but I had to pay first and then they would send them. So anyway, I ended up paying for them. By the time they got to my house, which was later that day, I had changed my mind because I ended up finding something else. But I don't know, you let me know if I should keep them. I think I should kind of take them back because I think I might need a half size bigger. I tried on a 38, I usually wear a 38 and they were too small. So I got a 38 and a half and I still feel like they are too small. Okay, here they are. They're a pair of off-white platform heels. They're very soft, very comfortable. Um, just look, take a look at them up close. This is something that I can wear all through the summer. I think it is a really nice classic shoe that you can get a lot of use out of. And because platforms are in right now, I think I can wear these on repeat all through the summer. However, I don't know. I think maybe I just need a half size bigger. Or maybe I'm just being El Cheapo and I, I just don't, I don't need them, you know? You let me know. To keep or to return? Hmm, that is the question. Okay, moving on. I got a gift from Dior yesterday that showed up at my door. I love how everything is wrapped so beautifully. I believe these sunglasses are part of their new collection. Ooh, she cute. Oh my God, I love them. Hold on. How cute. Again, we can put these on the corner of the... They are so cute. I love them. They're giving me the cat eye that I'm looking for. I like this, the way that they are angled upwards on the sides. I love the gold frames. These are beautiful. Oh, and they have a miniature CD right here in the corner. I don't know if you can see that. I'm like, I refuse to take them off for the rest of our unboxing. These are going to be so great to add to the collection for the rest of summer. Thank you, Dior. These are fabulous. What do you think about this? Love to get your opinion. And then I have another gift from Dior. And I believe this is a piece of jewelry. Oh, so pretty. Look at these. Love. They have these little hearts and then the pearl. Now that is really beautiful. There's one thing about Dior that I am, well, there's tons of things about Dior that I'm obsessed with, but I think they do a phenomenal job on their jewelry. They always come out with really beautiful, innovative, fun pieces that you would not think were Dior. I think they come out with some really great designs. So if you have yet to check out Dior jewelry, definitely make sure that you check them out. Did I show you the two Chanel bags that I got? That sounds crazy, right? Considering Chanel is so expensive. I'm like, did I show you the random two bags that I have just hanging out? I got this Gucci bag. It's a smaller, a smaller bag. I thought this was really cute because you can wear it all the time. It looks vintage. It will always be around no matter what. It is not as expensive as the other pieces in my closet, which I also really like. And it is on the smaller side. However, 
everything that you, your essentials that you need, your keys, your wallet. I think my phone fits in it, don't quote me though. And then I got an Alaya bag. This was a gift from Neiman Marcus. Very, very nice gift. And it's like totally an Alaya. And a what? <laughs> Name that movie. Um, I have not worn this bag yet, but I will get some use out of it. I think it was a very thoughtful, thoughtful gift from Neiman Marcus. So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate you for sending this over. I think I'm going to save the two Chanel bags for later because I think we're going through quite a bit of items and I want to do the jewelry because I have so much jewelry that I would love to show it to you. I don't have anywhere to prop you guys up because I kind of moved the tray over, but I ended up buying these from Amazon. Can you see them? They have like these little ring holes inside of them and they are made of foam, so they are very, very soft, but I cut them so they can fit inside this tray. I bought some museum glue so you can put it inside the tray and it sticks to the bottom, but these fit so snugly, I don't think that I'm gonna have an issue. So I went ahead and I just put that right in there. So now we have an entire tray for my rings, and let me give you an example. I got so much new jewelry lately that uh, I'm gonna put it all in and then I'm gonna show you who is who and what is what. All right, so we have this beautiful jeweled piece from Julia Vaughn, and then you can kind of just go in and put them in and everything will be nice and organized according to um, however you want to organize it. So let me go ahead and organize and then I will get right back to you. Okay, here we are so far. I have got to get the rest of my jewelry that I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's like scattered all over the place. Okay, so here are all the rings. I did this side for a few earrings. I have lots more to add. And then this stuff I'm gonna put in the other drawer tons more jewelry here and tons more jewelry up here but so far we're getting through this i love these new rings by the way these are all by julia vaughn not all of them but a lot of them these are beautiful earrings right here are by julia vaughn i don't know what i did with half like there's a bag missing that is full of jewelry hmm. i travel with a bag of jewelry all the time in my carry-on let me check in there. But you know what? The kids are home from school, so we have to take a break and we have to go and feed them. This house is a mess as per usual. So let's go downstairs, feed the kids, darling, and just hang out with me today. I feel like this is just gonna be a nice hangout type vlog. Vlog. All right, guys, come upstairs. It's time to eat. Rio, can you wait? Rio, can you wait? Rio, are you being wait? so nuts? I have this one. This is not I a pizza Friday. It, Friday. it is. No, it is Friday, right? Friday. Uh, are these the pizza you actually you make? No, mommy didn't make that pizza. So, uh, uh, come on. Hey, I'm feeding myself. Oh, right then, take one bite and then you feed yourself. Yeah. 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 Right there. Yeah. All right, London's helping me. Yeah. 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 Yeah
that down. That's what it looks like at the bottom. And voila, now let's get to putting out the jewelry. Now you see what I mean about the, like if I had a pin, stick the pin into the foam and lay it properly, it's, it's gonna have to do. Okay, so for these, I'm gonna do the less chunkier pieces. These are my fashion costume jewelry. These are not real diamonds. So we're going to just go ahead and wrap these pieces. That way I can fit more into the trays. I feel like I've been in this closet for so long. Let me show you what I have done so far. Sorry, I'm on my phone, so it's gonna be a little bit like shaky. I'm still walking around with these glasses, by the way. I'm obsessed with them. Okay, are we ready? Here, Here we go. Okay, this is all of my rings. Honestly, I think I'm missing quite a few. I'm also missing some Chanel drop earrings, some Chanel studs. I think I need to start checking my bags and seeing where they are. Majority of these pieces are pretty much fashion jewelry, except for there's a few pieces that are fine jewelry that are mixed in. But for the most part, everything is super organized. Um, these are the pieces that I wear on the regular. These are all of my fine jewelry necklaces that have been layered and organized. And then I use these hooks and I put that little museum glue here at the top. Um, and then I put maybe three or four necklaces on each hook so it doesn't get too annoying to take them off. But I also think that this would keep them from getting all tangled. I haven't finished this yet. This is just stuff that are, you know, my everyday Jennifer Fisher hoops that I love and just things that are really fun that I can wear in the summer. So I'm going to finish that. And then, la. This looks so much better than what it did. All of these necklaces, I just went ahead and wrap those up, put a push pin in it, <laughs> but that's not gonna work. I'm gonna need something else. These are all chunky pieces that I layer, some pieces that just kind of lay on the clavicle. Is that a decollete, decollete, however you say it. And then I have bracelets and again, more chunky jewelry. These are actually um, anklets and I have yet to wear them, but I think that they would be really cool with a pair of pumps or something. And then these are all bracelets that I wanted to keep in the bag until I get some sort of bracelet holder. And then I have these bracelets here. These are things that I just kind of wear on the regular, just these fine jewelry pieces, anything that is diamond or worth more. I kind of don't keep it in this area because I just don't want it out and about. And then over here, I just organized my fragrances just a bit. I have a lot more fragrances that I need to go through. But so far, this is what I have. I'm going to put these bags back over here, but I need to go through all of this area. Okay, so that's it for cleaning my jewelry drawer. I'm so happy that I finally, finally cleaned that area. As a matter of fact, oh, it's like missing some jewelry. I cannot find the other earring to this. I did find the earring, the matching earring to this piece. There are like a couple of earrings that I'm like, but where's my stuff? I'm gonna take the kids to sushi because they've been downstairs hanging out and they've been so patient. My husband is at the new house kind of organizing and he's trying to clean up a room where we can sleep in because your girl is gonna move in and we're about to be on an air mattress. You know how you move into a new place or an apartment or whatever it is and you don't have furniture yet? So we might have to sleep on an air mattress. I don't think we're gonna sleep there tomorrow because there's no internet and the kids are gonna go insane. I'm gonna go insane. We'll probably go up to the new house tomorrow and just hang out and get everything situated. Let the kids, Rio has a brand new car that he got for his birthday. So he wants to drive it out there and there's so much space out there. So it'll be really nice to do something like that. Maybe London can learn how to ride a bike. I mean, she's 10 years old. I should be ashamed as a parent that my daughter doesn't know how to ride a bike. Okay, so then that's it. I'm about to take my kids out to eat and uh, come with us. Okay, me and the kids, we are out and we are eating sushi. Rio thinks he is in karate. And um, please don't break those. Don't break the bar. Don't break those. It is Friday. We are going to call it a day. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Super chill. I'm out. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you can. See you next week. I look cool.